Well, it's been almost a year since uh, the family and I came up on holidays in the Whitsunday Islands and normally when I go away fishing, I really miss the family with young kids and yeah, when I go away on big trips, they're the, they're the ones I think about the most, but school holidays at the moment, so really, really lucky to be able to uh, bring the kids along. I've got a good mate, Leon, who's joined me as well. He's just putting a bit of sunscreen on. <laughs> But um, yeah, we've got the boat here for a couple of days and we're going to park it at Hamilton Island Marina for a couple of days as well. So just going to do some half day sessions out on the reef and we'll mix it up between top water fishing and uh, sort of reefy. So yeah, so, um, I'm really, really excited and you can probably feel my energy through the camera hopefully, but no, nah, it's um, the, the weather's really turned it on. So we've just rocked up sort of uh, almost lunchtime now. So. We're going to uh, punch it out really quickly and see if we can fit in a bit of a half day. So stay tuned, we'll take you for the ride. Let's go. Well, we've made it out to our first spot. A little bit bumpy because it's sort of been blowing 12 to 13 knots east, southeasterly. Uh, overnight and this morning so yeah the ocean's recovering still a little bit bit of morning sickness i call it <laughs> but yeah it wasn't too bad of a run across and so yeah we'll see how we go hopefully um the fish are biting we've got a high tide coming up in about an hour or so so we're just going to concentrate our efforts uh, for these reefies sort of an hour either side of the tide change so let's see how we go so yeah it's a little bit on the sounder fish are sort of hugging really tight at the moment down the bottom so it's a few fish a little bit higher so yeah let's have a drift and see how we go nice mate i reckon you're gonna get him go buddy <laughs> oh no oh, oh no sorry, like... oh, there we go oh i got shot yeah. no Oh, shocked after I had a good fish on. It is just. It's relentless, man. What do I do? I've, I've moved four locations now, and everywhere that I go, there's sharks on every single spot, which we normally don't even get any sharks. So I don't know what's going on, but clearly the uh, shark population's not. Um, yeah, they're not as extinct as some people say, so. Good morning, day two. Back on the water, this time with a good mate Steve and his two boys. Hey. There's Isaac and there's, oh, sorry, there's Isaac. There's Sebastian. They're staying with us on the island as well, so. Yeah, it's a um, pretty nice morning. The wind's not too strong at the moment, so we're gonna give it a red hot crack. Yesterday was super tough fishing, like, yeah, every, every drop on, five different locations we ended up just getting sharked and all the trophy fish so it's never happened before so hopefully today our luck changes so stay tuned hopefully we'll have a bit of action for you Nice fish just marking down the bottom. Sorry for the glare, but uh, okay, like about 60 meters at the moment. So yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll do it one quick drift and see if there's anything chewing on them. So just starting off with a Paternoster rig this morning, running three weight swivels. So I've got a hundred pound, four meters of that to my braid, and then on the sinker I'm using 80 pound, so that can snap off if I get stuck on the reef. Cheers, Kyle and Ewan for. Uh, setting up the sinker workshop the other day. <laughs> These uh, sinkers are coming in real handy. Then I've actually got about 130 pound to the hook, so just using the pink for RP tackle flies at the moment. So yeah, we'll put a bait on and see how we go. Starting to get a couple of nibbles now. Come on. There we go, got him. 
It'll actually be amazing if we get this fish out of the water because literally every single drop we've been hooking good fish and just getting sharked or railed or you got it? Yeah, yeah, you sure? Go Isaac. Yeah. There we go. I don't know what he is. There we go. He's a nice red. Ew. <laughs> oh. There we go. Oh. Yeah. yeah. We did it, boys. We actually got one fish to the boat. Yeah, yeah boys. Ew. P tackle flies just there, so. There we go, Skipper's happy now. <laughs> it's been a long and enduring uh, trip so far and we got sharked all yesterday afternoon so it's actually nice just to get a fish to the boat really. <laughs> Not the world's biggest red but hey, pretty colours on this one so we're going to get stuck back into the action. Yoo! Nice job Johnny! Thank you legend! Ashton get your line to the bottom! Go! Isaac go yes, and help Steve, him! That's a crack of fish mate! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you lost it. All right, Dad. Snap fish. He's there. Have you got him? Yeah, yeah, half the fish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're working together here, guys. There's sharks everywhere around the boat. I'm trying to get this guy up as quick as I can. Go, try to get him in the boat. Hang on. Oh. Sorry about that, Steve. Oh, thanks for working together, mate. Oh, yeah. Johnny. Oh, sorry, bro. No, don't be silly. Uh, they will be once they smell the. Uh, he got me right at the top of the boat, man. There we go. Classic example of teamwork. Steve hooked an absolutely cracking fish, which we'd have just seen. And unfortunately, the shark just came and nailed it right at the boat. So, but he kept his in the water. He's an absolute gentleman, and I. <laughs> Was lucky enough to land this beautiful, land this beautiful large mouth on a guy. So, thank you very much, Steve. You're a good man. You're welcome, Skipper. Let's go get another one. My pleasure, mate. Cheers, bro. Thank you, it's man. Work, love it. So yeah, this time we've brought up a little bit of um, rubble, a couple of shells and rocks hanging off it. Probably a bit of growth over the years. So yeah, it's always good to accidentally snag the bottom because that way you sort of know what you're fishing and you can see it's not a big piece of structure. But yeah, it's always good to see the diversity of country down there, so let's go. So we're just traveling at about oh, 28 knots, I'd say, and um, just heading north and basically saw a small little spike. You can see just there, that second little bump interested me. And so I'm only just slowly drifting back onto the marks now, really slowly, and just circling back over it. And so I'll just pan back over here. So you can see I'm slowly driving back over it now. And yeah, like the sound is absolutely lit up. Um, definitely some nice individual arches just sitting above the bottom. So I've never dropped, uh, never fished a spot. So yeah, it pays to have a transducer that can read the bottom at speed because that way you're um, constantly searching for new ground as you're, as you're traveling. So we're gonna get uh, lined up for a drift and see what's biting down there. Stay tuned. <laughs> you got him? Yep, yep. Yep. Yes. Down, 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 Good job. Down. I think I'm alright. I'll uh -huh. tell you if I need help though. Can yeah, you see it? Got colour here. Keep going, Isaac. Ooh. Good job, mate. I've got the net ready, bud. This is like the weight of me. 
<laughs> oh, it's a large mouth nana guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, bail arm open. Alrighty, let's get him in. Oh. Yes. the size of him. Yeah, baby. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Oh, what a donkey. I don't think I'll be able to lift that for a photo. Oh. Woo! Nice work, mate. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. What a legend. What an absolute legend. Let's get him off the hooks and show you guys. Put your gloves on, Isaac. Yeah. Good job, mate. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Well, will we have a look at here, Isaac? Yeah. <laughs> Is that your biggest nanny, mate? Yep, definitely. Oh, it's moving. No, you did really well, mate. I saw it when it hit the line and smashed that berserker. Um, yeah, you did you did well not to get sharked the whole way up, and then you you got him all the way to the top as well. So all by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> nah, mate, you deserve a cold drink, my friend. Yeah. Not a cold beer yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm not old enough. <laughs> Non-alcoholic beverage, I meant. Yeah. <laughs> nice one, mate. Well, let's do another drift. Yeah. Go, Steve. <laughs> okay. Step up here. Yeah, boy. Right, we got some colour, Steve. <sighs> Triple baby. Yeah, baby. Ooh. Oh. Straight in, mate. Yes. yes. Nanny. Yeah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I struggled with my nanny, and you got one double the size. Hey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think I had my camera on. Oh, oh rookie error, guys. There we go, almost a pigeon pair of largemouth nana guy. Steve and I had a beautiful double hookup just then, so it's always awesome and rewarding when you fish a new spot for the first time and you don't know what's lurking beneath there, so very, very cool. All right, we're gonna get back into the action. Thank you, Johnny. You're welcome, brother. You. Some nice fish marking up on the sounder. That's better. Oh, come on, get him up. Just trying to get him up quick before he gets sharked. Cracking nanny. Oh yeah. There we go. Beautiful largemouth nano guy, just a mid-sized one. Just had a couple of big sharks near the boat, so yeah, it's nice that this one made it up past the tax man. <laughs> just running a 300 gram white berserker here, so yeah. Beautiful colours on these fish. Awesome mate, let's go again. Well, lunchtime update for you all. This morning was pretty successful. Um, wasn't the hottest session that we've ever had, but uh, at least we managed to get a few fish up past those sharks, which were really harassing us yesterday afternoon. So um, yeah, we only had a couple of sharks this morning, so we got you know a couple of fish past them. So that's good enough for me. We've uh, punched it out a little bit wider now, so um, just come across a little spot which we're going to go fish, but. Uh, Big shout out to my mates in Dubai, uh, Vlad and Veronica. Thank you for supporting the channel. <laughs> Here's your shout out you've been asking for, but yeah, um, glamour day. No boats around, so we're gonna get some lines in the water and hopefully there'll be a few bent rods. You! It's a good fish. Come on! All right, go for it. Okay, okay, drop it back down there. That's a big fish. Yep. Come on. Yeah. Stole my fish. Oh yes. Tell me, Dad. Oh yeah. Oh, buddy. Get it back down to that bottom, Sebastian. <laughs> Look at the bed. Said there are plenty fish in the sea, literally. Stole the fish. <laughs> we 
fell in the ocean. We got some color. Oh yeah. Hand, oh, it's a red, mate. Yeah. Yes, please. Get the net. Sorry. Get the net. Oh. Quick. Oh. Oh, oh no. gosh. Oh. oh. Half of it's gone. Mate, he was a cracking trophy the red. He was a trophy red when man. Oh, Look at him. Wow. wow. Woo. So there you go, guys. I'll let you work out what's going on here. Obviously, a couple of big sharks lurking around, and we've been just moving from spot to spot. We're not staying in the one spot trying to fish, you know, and stay with the sharks and keep feeding them, but we keep moving and they just keep turning up. So it's taxed one of these beautiful reds I've just landed. It's a it's a cracking fish. What would have been an awesome fish, but uh, unfortunately, yeah, the shark got the better of him. So, all right, we're gonna do another drift and hopefully this time we'll try and land a whole fish. Yeah. <laughs> all right, cheers, mate. Been grabbed by something big. Duck. Uh, oh, come on. Oh, heartbreak high. Oh, look at that. Well, it's been an absolute struggle this sort of last 45 minutes or so. It's just been shark after shark after shark after that really good red got nailed. Um, yeah, the fishing just shut down, so... I think the fish are a little bit weary with sharks lurking around, so they're probably not that keen on feeding. But um, yeah, look, it's been a, at least today was a little bit better than yesterday. Got a few past the tax man, so absolutely no complaints. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna punch it back in now because I've sort of had enough. <laughs> uh, it gets very demoralizing and frustrating when you keep catching shark after shark or you catch a good fish and, it, and it, you know, your trophy fish just gets nailed, so. Um, but yeah, thanks for staying tuned. That's a wrap for now. Catch you, catch you in a bit. Well, nothing beats hanging out with good mates and catching some awesome fish, man. So it's a good day. <laughs> a little good bit morning. challenging at times. Good morning. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. So anyway, that's just the way it goes. You would have obviously seen quite a few sharkings throughout the day, but that's just the way it goes. <laughs> Still had a great day. Thanks, Johnny. All good, buddy. Well, we're back at the marina now, so boat's been washed down, which is good. So, yeah, we're going to, uh, it's my kid's birthday today, so going to get washed down and go to the restaurant. All good. All right, well, stay tuned. Still got day three, day four, and day five. <laughs> Let's see how far we get. Well, day four on the islands. It's, uh, yeah, the family's having a great time. Didn't do any fishing yesterday at all, and no fishing today. We're just gonna go cruise the islands, spend a time, spend a bit of time with the kids. So, got Steve's kids and Leon's kids. Say hello. hello. <laughs> Who's ready for an adventure? Yeah. <laughs> Don't sound too excited. <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna be. Um, just gonna go check out Whitehaven Beach and. Uh, probably go feed the fish up the top of Hook Island so yeah just a cruisy day I think there's a few storms predicted as well so it's looking already pretty dark up there so hopefully the rain stays away and hopefully we'll do a bit of fishing tomorrow sort of a half day so stay tuned big rats just there yeah it ate up my hair can you come oh that's so big that's so big Yeah, look, look, watch this. <laughs> well, it's been a pretty fun day just exploring the islands. Uh, we went up to Hook Island in the morning with all the kids and the families that are staying up here. And we just basically uh, fed the fish and did a bit of diving there, but it was a bit choppy. So it was short lived because we had a few people that were seasick. <laughs> It's, uh, we've come up to Hills Inlet now, Whitehaven Beach. Just anchored the boat here in the shallows and it's absolutely stunning up here. So you can see a lot of people up on the beach at the moment, just chilling. 
So yeah, we're gonna just do a bit of snorkeling, bit of fun, just in the shallows. See if we can see any fish up on the flats. Stay tuned. You. Hey, Maddie, come in. Pretty cool piece of structure. Oh, you're reverse crawling. That's cool. take advantage of a bit of a half day window so we've just got Leon on board today and uh, yeah we're probably just gonna try and get some reefies might do some stuff on the flats around the islands uh, later in the day see how we go but uh, hopefully the sharks leave us alone and there's a few redfish chewing so stay tuned hopefully you hear the drag screaming Yee-hoo! Go buddy, that's a nice fish. Go, go, go. Nice work, mate. What do you call it? Red or a nanny? Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe a nanny, bro. Yeah? I'm not sure. Could be a nice uh, large mouth. Big red before, so that's alright. Sure. Yeah, walk back, mate. I got it for you. Open your bail arm, champion. Yes. You! Talk us through it, LT. Uh, <laughs> it's just a. Uh, Cut the bait out at uh, what 64, 65 meters. Yeah. Cut a couple of nibbles, left it there, and then bam! <laughs> <laughs> you got it on the uh, P tackle four gang, uh, four gang. So there's no fly on it, but um, yeah, not a bad specimen, mate. Well done. Thanks, Johnny. Appreciate oh, good. It. All right, let's get him on the ice box. Let's go again. Phew. There's a beautiful largemouth nano guy. <laughs> Took a little while. Didn't have the camera on, unfortunately, but. Um, yeah, he fought, fought really well and almost tangled up Leon's lines, but uh, we managed to get him in, so that's pretty cool. See those beautiful black spots on his tail just there. Awesome. All right, well, we're going to do another drift, see if we can catch a few more. There we go. We're only fishing just the two of us, so we don't have a third person filming at the moment. We've just got it on the uh, the railing with the claw. But um, yeah, beautiful double hookup with Leon myself. A couple of cracking nana guys, so... Yeah, we've been chipping away all day because it hasn't been just a very slow morning. So now it's afternoon and the fish have just come on the chew. Sort of an hour either side of this high tide. So we're going to keep drifting and hopefully catch a few more of these fine specimens. You! <laughs> well, just rocked up at the uh, fisherman's den, <laughs> Andrew Talbot's place. Pretty cool, awesome setup. It's a big, massive shed. Massive property out here. It's pretty much brand new, I'd say. Ping pong table, a lot of ping pong balls. <laughs> Great setup. Pretty cool. Good map of the reef. 
Well, that's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, pretty much ended a great uh, week and a half up on the islands in Airlie Beach. Uh, we finished off at uh, Andrew Talbot's place, the Fisherman's Den, so that was pretty cool. Um, got to spend a couple of nights there and explore, but the, the wind got a bit too excessive, so we didn't end up uh, getting out fishing after our stint on the islands. But yeah, we, ate, we managed to get out for a few days fishing, so definitely no complaints. And yeah, the sharks were really, really bad this trip, but... Um, yeah, that's just the way it goes. You can't win in them all the time. But yeah, thank you so much for all your support throughout the year. This is the last video I'm going to do before Chrissy. So hope everyone has a great festive break. And uh, stay tuned for the new year. There's going to be some bigger and better things. So, you Tight lines.